Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the interbubs. This is Ren Diggity Dog coming at you from the jank hole in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. How's everybody out there doing today, baby? I hope you guys are in the mood for some jank clarification in this episode. I promised you in the previous episode that we would start working on the mole hole today. And that is exactly what is going down in this episode, my friends. We're going to get down to some good old-fashioned crafting. And finally, after about 63 episodes of this series, we're going to start working on our main, well, our main base here in the Moleshire. We have spent a lot of time working on some sweet stuff for the Gobbits. We made them a blacksmith, a freaking chicken farm, a holiday inn. But the mayor of the Moleshire has neglected to make himself something sweet. And uh, that is going to change today, my friends. So sit back and relax. I hope you got a tasty beverage. Hope you got a crunchy snack, man. These things are, are obligatory for a Ren Dog video. By the way, if you want to get maximum enjoyment out of a Ren Dog video, you need to have yourself something tasty to crunch on and sip on. It, it it's not even a debatable right now. So if you don't have anything to snack on, hit the pause button. Go get yourself some popcorn or a carrot or something that you can chew on and. Let's dig up and place down some blocks, shall we? <laughs> oh man, last episode, my friends, we were working on a little bit of a safety um, mechanism for Mole Rail Incorporated. We set up a little bit of a bridge system right at the end of our railway line over there. There it is. Look at that. Looking absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I really like how that turned out. Uh, but today we're going to be spending the day underground. Uh, we're going to be spending the day in what is actually kind of a damp and moist area, isn't it? This place feels... Very, very, uh, uh, cavey. Also very square right now. And to be honest with you guys, I have not really thought about what we're going to be doing in this cave. Today we're just going to be placing down some blocks, trying to figure out a design for it. I kind of have an idea in my brain. Haven't quite fleshed it out yet though. So we're going to be doing that, all of that jazz today. Unfortunately, we've got a bit of a problem right now, guys. We are currently working inside. And as we know, the Moleshire is kind of safe, but it's not 100% safe. So... I'm going to make use of one of the most underutilized items in Minecraft called the clock. And as we can see uh, by the clock, we can see that it's actually nighttime right now, right? You can see it ticking away there. Very, very cool. And that shows us that it is time to sleep. There are a couple of gobbits here in the Moleshire who need our protection. There we can see the sun's coming up now on the clock. That's pretty sweet. Um, and uh, we need to make sure that they don't get killed today. So I need to keep my eye on that clock in my hotbar. And as soon as that clock uh, turns to nighttime, then we're going to need to sleep so that the goblets are protected, right? I think this is actually the first time that I've ever used a clock in this game, um, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> Usually quite a useless item. But I guess if you are trying to protect a whole bunch of villages in your base uh, and you're working indoors most of the time, you don't know what time it is outside, it's actually kind of useful, isn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, we also cleared up a whole bunch of safety violations in the mole hole in the previous episode, didn't we? Looks like we're sort of uncovering all of that jazz today, but that's fine. This isn't going to last very long. Uh, all I want to do is get rid of the foundation blocks and replace them um, with a, a, like a floor design of some kind. You know, one of the most difficult things about Minecraft, I find anyway, is going back to old projects. You guys know what I'm saying? Shall we just take our armor off here? We can actually just put it on right now, uh, just for now. <laughs> and let's get rid of this armor stand. Uh, one of the most difficult things for me in Minecraft anyway is coming back to really old projects. When we first started the mole hole, we started working on this interior design, right? Which looks really cool. I really love this. I think we're going to copy this design uh, inside here or try to copy it anyway. Uh, but when you come back to a project that you started many, many months ago, it's kind of tricky to get your brain back in the zone uh, to where you were back then when you first started that project, right? And I think the best way to do it is to just do. Just start break, digging up some blocks, placing down some blocks, and, you know, just to, to plug on. Um, and eventually, over time, I think it'll all come together. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff to do here. Uh, as you can see, a lot of blocks to clear away too. And what I would like to do in here also today with you guys is figure out a little feature inside of the mole hole that I'm very, very keen to get going. And that's something that we kind of did in our first survival series, but this time around, I want to do it in an even more spectacular fashion. In our first survival series, we had a molehole a little bit like this, but on a much smaller scale, uh, but we also had a giant tree called 
called the life tree growing up the very center of our base and it sort of came out the top uh, of the mole hole. It was really, really sweet. Shall we start getting rid of these furnaces too? Yeah, let's start clearing all this junk away. Uh, but I would like to do the same thing here in the mole hole, but I, I kind of want to have um, uh, like a really, really awesome tree in here. I want it to, not to just be like a straight up column of logs. Uh, I want it to be nice and fashion. I want it to be a custom tree and I, I want it to look absolutely amazing. Now, the problem that we're going to have with this particular idea, and I think this is probably one of the reasons I've been putting uh, the molehole project off for a while is that I have no idea uh, where the center of the molehole really is here in Mole Town. It's going to pop up somewhere around he here, I think. It might even pop up where uh, this little marker is. Hopefully it pops out here because that looks like a pretty decent space. We could then get the road to run around the tree, which would be pretty cool. We will have a problem though if it pops up around here somewhere, like right where the blacksmith is. So I'm hoping that going up here isn't going to equal a lot of a reworking for us in Mole Town because uh, that'll be super, super painful, right? Let's move everything over here. Oh my goodness. We got a couple of chests full of stuff here. We got our ender chest. Uh, we also have the chest of the cyber dog that's got, got all the special bits in it. Uh, that's not good. Where is my silk touch pickaxe? There's Foreman. Uh, that'll get rid of the ender chest. I guess we'll leave that chest floating here for now. Uh, also, this chest has got a bunch of stuff in it, which is also... Mm, uh, this is going to be a pain in the butt to move. Let's leave all of that stuff for now, shall we, guys? Let's start with the easy stuff first. As I was saying before, if you've got a project that you know is going to be a pain in the butt and uh, you, you're sort of uninspired to get working on it, just go. Just go for it and see where it takes you, right? Let's start with the easy stuff. Let's dig upwards, see where this comes up. Hopefully, it's going to come up in, the, in Mole Town in a really convenient spot for us. That would be amazing. And uh, I don't see us breaking into anything too important just yet, which is sweet. I think this is dirt now on the next layer, so that's going to be easy to bust through. There we go. Uh, that has not broken into anything important. In fact, that has broken, up, uh, broken into sunshine, which is amazing. And it's come right up next to Jock. Hey, hi. I didn't mean to startle you there, my little man. <laughs> wow, this is actually a pretty awesome spot for the life tree. It's not exactly in the center of Mole Town. I was kind of hoping that the life tree would be somewhere around here, I guess. Uh, it would have been absolutely ideal in this position, I suppose. But we do have all the blacksmith stuff down there, uh, which isn't really going to help us out very much. So this is actually a pretty decent spot. Jock, my dude, you just need to shift a little bit in this direction. I uh, thank you. By the way, guys, this is what we worked on last episode. Pretty sweet, right? I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, maybe today we'll get a little bit of time to do a little bit more work on the chicken farm house over here. But... As you can see, man, this chicken farm, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Uh, or should I say, it, it's eggs. Uh, you see what I did there? Because nuts and the, the eggs uh, from the... Uh. We're back to mining blocks, cyber diggity dogs. We ain't got no time for chickens today, baby. And I have just dug down a massive pit <laughs> from the top of Mole Town all the way down into the mole hole. And the idea is that our life tree is going to be going directly up the center here. Wow, that's kind of dramatic. Also, uh, the sun has just gone down, which means gobbets are currently in danger. Let's get a bed down here and do some sleeping real quick. Oh, man. Uh, that view gives us a pretty interesting idea of what the life tree might look like in here, guys. If you can imagine a beautiful tree growing up the center here, uh, that is kind of where my thinking is here. We're probably going to have to expand uh, the bottom part of the chute a little bit too, right? Probably one or two blocks wider, uh, and then maybe it can get thinner as it goes up, right? But down here in the mole hole, we want to have enough room uh, around the tree to be able to move around. That could be pretty sweet. Um, and yeah, we need to have like pathways going around here. And I suppose looking at our aqueducts over here that are transporting the sugar canes, I guess this is the path around the center of the tree, right? So if the tree is going to be in the middle, uh, maybe this is the pathway, something like that. Um, also, I think we can start getting rid of these marker blocks. We were using these to mark the center uh, of the mole hole so that we could figure out exactly where the tree was going to go. But we know that that is dead center inside. And yeah, that's actually, this is going to, this is going to be really cool, man. I'm very excited to see if we can actually pull this off. Uh, uh, it, it's going to be a very dr tricky custom tree design, I think, because it's, we don't have a lot of space. Like this looks like a lot of space to work with, but in actual fact, if we think about the tree itself, right, let's get a couple of logs in the inventory here uh, and do a little bit of planning uh, with these things, guys, as I was saying earlier, you just got to plug in, you just got to plug on, keep on going, see what you can do. Um, how big can we actually make the base of this tree? I guess we could probably make it, well, that's going to be five by five. 
uh, right? If we want to try keep it nice and symmetrical, I think, yeah, we will be able to do a five by five tree at the very base of it. That's pretty massive, right? That's probably about as big as we can make the tree. Is that actually symmetrical? Three on the side, three on the side. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Um, and that's going to go all the way up. And I suppose as it goes up, as the tree trunk goes up, it can get a little bit thinner so it can fit through this hole. But let's just say for now that that's going to be the center of the mole hole. That's going to be the size of the life tree. That doesn't leave us much space around it to work on uh, a floor, which is kind of curious. Let's get rid of the rest of these blocks down here. Ignore the floating chests. We'll deal, deal with them at some other point. Um, I was thinking about a really nice floor design in here, but the more that I look at this, the more that I'm worried that we're not going to have enough space to do this. Let's just get some of these uh, stone blocks out of our inventory and start getting a little bit of wood in here. Uh, this, was what I, this is what I was thinking, right? A combination of spruce wood planks and oak wood logs. This is what I wanted to use um, for the floor of the mole hole, but we might not have enough room to do exactly what I wanted to do here, uh, basically because that tree is way too massive at the moment, right? Like if this is gonna be the life tree, we're gonna need some sort of a, a border around it, I suppose, and we probably use um, some stairs for this, right? So we probably have something like this, I guess. Uh, is that, does that look okay? I guess not. I mean, we kind of want a little bit of, of grass around here too, right? Maybe we want to have a, a layer of grass blocks around the life tree. Do I have any grass blocks here? Uh, no, I, oh, I do. Okay, so check this out. So maybe we want a little bit of a garden in here too, right? So maybe we get some grass blocks down. That's going to make it even smaller here <laughs> for our pathway. But if we've got grass blocks all the way around the life tree like that, then we probably want to have some sort of a border like this, right? So it's kind of like a flower bed, I suppose. Um, although we could do this in a different way though, right? If we wanted to get really smart, maybe what we could do instead of having spruce stairs like this, maybe we could just have like solid blocks or maybe even turn the stairs upside down like this. And then on top of the stairs, we could uh, surround the life tree with fences, right? That could look pretty sweet. Um, and maybe, ooh, maybe the fences are gonna be the border uh, for our paths. That could work out quite nicely. Like that looks pretty sweet, right? So we can imagine we can plant some flowers here and stuff and that life tree is gonna start growing up here. Uh, that's gonna look pretty cool. And then I guess we don't have much path to work with. We've got about five blocks or so to work with from a path perspective. And we gotta think about these aqueducts also which is making it kind of tricky, if I'm honest with you guys. Jeez, man. Uh, I thought we were going to have a lot of space in this mole hole, but apparently we're going to be running out of space pretty quickly, especially if we're going to make that tree that massive. But I want the tree to be really big. I want it to be really impressive, right? Like when you come into the mole hole, the first thing that you, that you see when you walk through that door, I want you to see this beautiful, beautiful tree. What is the time like anyway? Let's let's keep that that clock in our offhand. Is, is, that, is that noon? Is that noon on the clock? It's difficult to tell, right? Yeah, I think that's noon. Yeah, that's the sun <laughs> at the top at the top of the sky. Um, yeah, never actually used a clock in Minecraft before, guys. So yeah, <laughs> there you go. There's a first time for everything in this game. Um, so there we go. That's going to be the center piece of the molehole lobby, the life tree. Um, we got to work some paths around this thing, and. Hmm, this is what I was thinking. Let me just, geez, guys, this is this is exactly why I've been delaying this project. I knew it was going to be really tricky to figure out, okay? Something in my brain just told me, Ren, put that project off as long as possible because this is going to drive you absolutely insane. Uh, but check it out. This was my idea for the the floor of the uh, the um, the mole hole, rather. I was going to use a whole bunch of spruce wood slabs like this, which I think look really nice. And then just like we did in the storage hole, I wanted to mix in um, some um, oak logs like this, right? Because the oak logs and the spruce wood slabs just go together really nicely. The gradient of the textures are the same, right? And they share the same color palette. So they just look really, really good together, especially in like a floor design like this. Like, look how cool this looks, man. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Uh, but we don't really have much space for this unless we get rid of the aqueducts or at least get rid of some of the concrete, maybe change some of these stones uh, for wood. Maybe the aqueduct is a part of a wooden path that goes around the centerpiece of the mole hole. Maybe we get a little bit more wood in this thing. And uh, all the concrete and stuff is going to be coming from these walls that we're going to be creating around the circumference of the life tree. Something like that. Hmm. I don't know. Tell you what, guys. Give me a couple hours to experiment. I'll be back with you when we've got something better to look at. Man, this is a tricky project. It's slowly but surely starting to come together, Cyber Diggity Dogs. It definitely looks better than what it did at the start of this episode. 
although there is clearly still a ton of work to do. Let me show you what I've done so far. I've added in uh, this beautiful spruce and oak log pathway all the way around the center of the life tree here. And I think it looks great, man. Added a couple of stairs in there too, just to show off a, a few cracks in the floorboards, so to speak. This place isn't flawless, of course. There's a couple of cracks here and there, some loose floorboards and whatnot. It is the Bolshire after all, man. We got a relaxed life out here, okay? We don't bother too much about replacing uh, creaky floorboards around here. Uh, I've also kept in some of the glass aqueducts here. To be honest, guys, I am very unsure about these. I'm going to need your help on this one, okay? Check the top right-hand corner of the video. Do we keep the glass aqueducts in the center of the floor? I, I think it looks really, really weird. Uh, it hasn't really kind of clicked in my brain yet. I don't think it's terrible, but at the same time, I don't know, man. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Why would there be glass like this on the floor, right? It looks a little bit strange. Uh, I was also experimenting with a little something-something that I wanted to show you guys because uh, I'm also a little bit unclear on this one. One, but I was experimenting with some dark oak wood logs here too, uh, just like we have in the storage hole. Let me show you quickly what I was doing here. Uh, I was adding like a, a layer of dark oak wood planks going all the way around the middle. And it looked kind of okay. Uh, it maybe looked a little bit too much like the storage hall. I don't think I want this build to look exactly like all the other builds. I want each of our builds in the Molshai to have its own sort of unique feel to it. So I kind of dig this, but I don't know. It's it's not quite working for me right now. Maybe what we could do is try uh, oak wood planks instead, right? That might work out quite nicely. What happens if we got a lighter shade uh, into the pathway instead of a darker shade? That's kind of that's actually kind of sweet, right? I kind of like that. That works quite nicely. Nicely. Um, anyway, still a little bit of experimenting to do with that. Still not entirely sold on the center bit either. I don't think I like the stone bricks in the middle here. I was thinking that maybe what we could do is replace these with logs, actually, uh, or upside down logs anyway. That makes a little bit more sense to me, right? It feels a little bit more natural, feels a little bit more mole shirey, and we're going to have quite a lot of stone around the circumference of the life tree in, in the walls uh, anyway. So it's probably better to have some wood going around the center here, right? Plus, I think it'll look a little bit better with the actual tree in the middle. Uh, the only thing that concerns me is the amount of green. Only one layer of green around the tree. I feel that might not be enough. I almost want to make the tree a little bit smaller so that we can get a better garden in here, but then it's going to be a really small life tree. I mean, it's only going to be a, a three by three, and that's about as big as the life tree was in the previous survival series. In fact, I think the, the previous <laughs> life tree was, in fact, a three by three. Uh, so this time around, I want to make it a little bit bigger, but maybe what we could do instead is, hmm, check this out, right? Do, how many logs do I have on me? I've got 25 logs right here. Let's do a little bit of experimenting out here. I've just been inspired. Oh, I shifted everything over here, by the way, guys. Uh, all of the necessary stuffs have now been relocated into the passageway. <laughs> Um, yeah, a little bit like relocating the boxes of train pieces that my grandpa did uh, from his garage onto the driveway in the story that I told you yesterday, right? By the way, guys, you can also put clocks in item frames. Pretty cool, right? So we've got our little clock here, and it looks like it's about to hit nighttime too, so I think I should probably sleep just to keep our gobbets protected. Uh, okay, so it's not quite nighttime yet, but check it out, right? So say, for example, this is going to be our life tree running up the very center of the mole hole. Uh, that's going to be its its core, right? This will be like the core trunk of it. And uh, we should probably get a torch or some blocks down there, actually, because <laughs> zombies might be able to spawn in there. Uh, but this, if this is going to be the trunk of it, right, that's the core, maybe what we could do is a little bit of custom tree action here, right? So instead of it just being so, like, straight up like this, like a straight pillar, maybe what we could do is just add a little bit of uh, width to it around the corners. But we don't have to go all the way out so maybe so, like sometimes it comes out like this but then sometimes it goes in also uh, like that um, and maybe this block for example can now become grass that'll give us a little bit more space around the base of the life tree there right um, and the same can happen over here i suppose uh, we can have two x or two bits of extra space over here for grass action and that'll actually make the tree a lot more natural looking, right? Let's just sleep this night away. I can I can sense those zombies outside already aiming for my goblets right now, man. Let's just sleep this night away. Uh, there we go. But yeah, you can see it's already looking a little bit more natural uh, in a way. I suppose this side isn't looking that natural. Maybe we can push that away a little bit. Um, and let's have a look at that. Yeah, so look at that, right? That's already starting to look like the base of a pretty large tree. So that's pretty sweet. And uh, then what we can do is replace like all the bottom stuff with... Um, with some more dirt here and some more grass blocks. And uh, down here we can maybe have some leaves and whatnot. 
and uh, that'll look pretty sweet, right? Here we go. Uh, so that works, and I guess like the bottom section of the tree over here could probably be roots, so maybe we could have like uh, the, the, the logs facing in a different direction, uh, so that it kind of looks a little bit like a root, right? Just like that. And yeah, the same thing could happen over here. In fact, this root could maybe come out like a so. Uh, maybe it takes a corner like that. Uh, something like that. Oh my goodness, man. I'm, I'm getting completely carried away with the design of this tree. But you guys get the picture, right? And we could make this tree look nice and custom um, in the very center of the mole hall. And then I think that works out kind of nicely. But as that tree is growing in the center, this glass is really starting to look kind of funky, isn't it? Really, really don't like it. Anyway, uh, let's take our attention away from that. <laughs> as uh, what happens in Minecraft, sometimes you get a little bit of a tunnel vision on a particular part of a project you're working on, right? And I always think it's a good idea to work on something else when you start to run out of ideas for what you're working on. Uh, and I was thinking a little bit about this section over here, right? And I think we do need to maybe have like a secondary entrance way or at least some sort of an art or something so that when you come into the mole hole from uh, the mole shire you get a really nice view of the life tree in the distance there but at the same time i kind of want this to look a little bit a little bit jazzy right uh, so maybe what we want to do is get some stone bricks up here uh, maybe with like a like a, a little bit of an archway like we have for the railway system right like something a little bit fancy like that with some chiseled some chiseled stone bricks and whatnot do i have any chiseled stone bricks around here hold on let me have a look uh, i think i've got like one uh, or none. Yeah, I don't have any, so that's good. Uh, but let's just experiment a little bit with some stone brick stairs here, just to sort of get that smooth sort of feeling of an archway there. I think that looks okay, although it doesn't quite fit in very well with this final little bit of spruce wood support. So maybe we get rid of that and this becomes like a solid... Um, like concrete support instead of a wooden support, if that makes any sense. Is any of this stuff making sense, guys? I'm just kind of like, you know, putting what's in my brain into my mouth <laughs> just for you guys to sort of get an idea on the crafting process because I think it's kind of interesting to watch. Uh, but there we go. I actually do have some chisel stone. So there we go. Maybe we can get some chisel stone there and maybe a bit of chisel stone here too, right? Just to represent the entrance into the mole hole. Uh, something like that. So that looks kind of cool, I think. Look at that, man. Yeah, that's kind of fancy. I like that. I like that. I mean, we could probably like mix it up a little bit, get maybe one or two bits of smooth stone and uh, maybe a couple of cracked stones in there also. Um, maybe like we get a cracked stone over here, for example, just to break up the blocks just a little bit and maybe a little bit of smooth stone over here could work quite nicely, right? Just like so. Um, and that sort of helps to break it up just a little bit. Look at that. Mm, beautiful. Loving it. Okay, so that works. I really like that. I don't really like how this connects over here, though. And I'm thinking that's probably because it's sort of like a very hard connect here. And maybe what we could do instead is get this pathway going all the way over the sort of edge of the, uh, the lip here of our pathway. Uh, or of our wooden pathway, anyway. And then maybe what we could do is have the stairs go around the corner like that. That could work, actually. Hang on. What happens if we carry that on into this position like that? And that could actually work out quite nicely. What about a little bit, a little something like that instead? So we switch the stair around and then we replace this bottom block with some solid, sl uh, uh, solid slabbage or should I say plankage like a so. How does that look? Yeah, that looks okay. This one didn't quite work out the same way, though, did it? Well, actually, what, what's going on here? Oh, wait, geez. Um, I think we, yeah, we went one block too close there, right? Hang on, let's just get this fixed up over here, looking super janktastic. And yeah, it's these details in Minecraft builds that always take the longest, right? Like trying to figure out the, the tiny little details. Um, yeah, that doesn't really work for me either. I think we might even have to transform this path into the the wooden pathway that goes around the life tree that's probably the only way that that's going to work um but yeah man still so much stuff to do in here guys and i already can tell that we have run out of time in today's episode very happy with the progress that we made in here though this is definitely better than the way that it was this morning am i right i hope you guys are liking it man all of you guys who have been shouting at me about doing the mole hole well we're busy doing the mole hole okay next episode we'll carry on with this and uh, we'll finish off the chicken farm build also uh, but some great progress today guys thank you so much for watching man if you enjoyed it you know what to do man you smack it
Teddy Smack the like button. And if you're looking forward to seeing how this life tree turns out and you haven't hit the subscribe button, well, hit the subscribe button or this cooked chicken's going straight up your, up your butt. Okay, <laughs> that's that's a threat. Um, so hit the subscribe button and don't forget to jingle jangle the notification bell too because um, that's also important or this block will follow the chicken and you will not have a very pleasant day. Thanks for watching guys. Red Nick and Dog signing out from what was once the jank hole and we'll smell you all in the next episode.